In this video, I will try to explain Bayes' theorem with the help of Lego. Uh, this is not my own idea. I base this on a nice blog by Will Kurt, and you can find the link to his blog in the description of this video. What we want to find out with Bayes' theorem is the probability of A given B. And actually, we better say that we want to know the probability of um, a certain hypothesis given the data. Now, in frequentist statistics, we are always interested in the probability of data given a certain hypothesis. And in this case, we want to know the opposite. In terms of Lego, imagine that this white brick is the data we found. And the red brick is a hypothesis. And the blue brick is another hypothesis. Then we actually want to know the probability of the red hypothesis when we have found the white data. In other words, um, if you randomly select a white peg, what is the probability that there is a red space underneath? Intuitively, this is quite simple uh, because you can see that half of the white pegs are on a blue space and the other half on a red space, and therefore the probability that a blue or red hypothesis underlies a white peg equals 0 0.5. That is half. That is intuitive. However, we would like to calculate it, uh, and we can use Bayes' theorem to do so. For this, we need a few elements. We need the probability of the data given a certain hypothesis, hypothesis 1, the red one, uh, or another hypothesis, the blue one. We also need the probability of data. Uh, well, we are going to calculate it. Um, so. If we want to calculate the probability of the data given a certain hypothesis, um, then we actually need these elements. This hypothesis, uh, the probability of the data given this hypothesis. And we can calculate this probability as follows. This space contains 4 times 6 pegs, so a total of 24 pegs, and therefore the probability equals 2 over 24 or 1 over 12. And that is the probability um, of the data given the hypothesis. If we want to know the probability of the hypothesis, then we have to consider what the total probability space is. What is possible? Um, in fact, we already know that. This is another hypothesis that we can test, but we are not interested in it because we are only interested in hypothesis 1. The probability of the hypothesis can be calculated as follows, 24 pegs in a space of 36 pegs, 6 times 6 is 24 over 36, and that's the probability of the hypothesis. The probability of the data is the last element we need. I'm going to place it here. The probability of the data equals the probability of the data regardless of the hypothesis. Therefore, the probability of the data equals 4 over 36. Now we have, in fact, everything that we need to calculate the probability of the hypothesis given the data that we have. And we can calculate this probability as follows. 2 over 24 multiplied by 24 over 36 divided by 4 over 36 um, which is going to equal 0 0.5. And therefore, the likelihood of this hypothesis, given the data, equals 0 0.5. Now, we can do the same for the other hypothesis, hypothesis number 2. Um, it would look like this. We are not talking about the first hypothesis now, but about the other one. And if we want to know the probability of this hypothesis given, yeah, we want to know the probability of this hypothesis given the data, but for that we need the probability of the data given this hypothesis. And the probability of this hypothesis, uh, and we need the probability of the data again, so this will remain the same. Um, and the probability of the data given this hypothesis is then equal to 2 over 12, and 
the probability of this hypothesis equals 12 over 36, and the probability of the data, this one, uh, this one down here, remains 4 over 36. Uh, and if we calculate this whole thing again, we will arrive at the same likelihood. The probability of hypothesis 2, given the data, also equals 0 0.5. Um, and that is not surprising because we had already seen in our data, uh, let me just put this all to the side. Um, we'd already seen in the data that we had that if we were to randomly select a white peg, then the probability that one or the other hypothesis is below it is exactly 0 0.5.